All right, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Alec back with another video on the channel. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I make samples for the likes of Travis Scott, Baby Keem, Don Tolliver, whoever you think could hop on this. This is how to make placement samples. Let's go. This is a really cool sample, I'm just gonna get into it. So with this sample, I flipped it a lot and I reversed, the, the final version is actually a reverse version of the original. So you guys will see how much I flipped it and what I did to make it sound like that. I started with this, these two sounds. So both are from Analog Lab. Um, the main one is Lesson 0602 range. It's from Louis Flynn's new Analog Lab bank. It's a really cool sound. Sounds a lot for like something for Travis. I then added this um, bell thing mallet from uh, Hayes' bank. And it was just something like an add-on for effects on those two. For the main one, it was a kickstart. That's a side chain. EQ, a sketch cassette. Um, turn up the saturation, make it distorted, and a reverb. Then on the other one, I added an EQ. Took the highs and lows out, a thermal, added the subtle sweetener preset, a shaper box pan, so it goes from one end to the other, and an unstable, which detunes the melody, right? So what I did for that, uh, I then exported those out. I reversed it, it sounded like this. And I actually put effects on that. So what I did is I added a guitar rig. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't remember the preset that I added, but it was definitely it was something in the colored section. But I just added some preset, took the mist down a bit, and I added the shaper box sidechain, and then this thermal. I really wanted to make this really weird. I added this dream tunnel preset, which is my favorite preset in thermal right now. I've overused it a lot. I turned down the chop and turned down the drive all the way, and turned down to the dry. I didn't want to make it too much. I then added this like one shot from Coop's kit. Sounds like this. It's just a reverse like pad, um, I mean to texture, I guess, airy texture. Uh, what I did though for that is an EQ, a reverb, the Hovens verb, and a panomatic. Didn't do much else. Didn't want anything too crazy. Then what I did is I exported those sounds all out. I got this. After that, I needed a lot of uh, little layers. So what I did is first I got this synth. It's from XY Nothing's kit. Sounds like this. You're probably wondering why it's so distorted. So originally the sound sounded like this. Which is like synth. It sounds like a wet sign. I, for effects, I added the sketch cassette and the thermal. So the sketch cassette and the thermal is what made it sound that distorted and stuff. So the saturation made it distorted. Thermal, I added this drive chorus, which made it, made it a cor have a chorusy feel. Made it even more kind of dry, like I had more of an over, uh, overdrive. Then I added the shaver box. I love shaver box, one of my favorite plugins right now. Uh, I added this volume side chain, and then I added this pan one ear to the other. Um, and then I added this one EQ, took all the highs out. Then this other EQ took some of the low mids out. I then added this perk also from uh, a one shot, I think it was Coop's one shot kit, sounds like this. Literally nothing, it's just a perk that just hits. Um, for effects on that, I added an EQ and a reverb, nothing crazy on that. I then, I kind of wanted like something to cat, like be off, off beat. Um, so I played, it was this, this analog lab, it's called the mountains preset. It's like a pad I'll play for you guys. It's like off time and very like eerie, but I liked it a lot. And all I did was an EQ on that, didn't need too much. Um, I then did the same thing, but I did it for, for a one shot. And it's um, what I did to that one shot to not make it sound terrible. I added this EQ, took the highs and lows out, which I do a lot. I added this radiator, which gives it a vintage feel. Then I added the sketch cassette, which makes it that gives it that distorted grungy sound. Um, and also makes it sound very vintage. And then this delay, that's why I like was fading out after like doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. I added on the stereo effect preset. That's what I do all the time for every sound usually. Then I added this Vahal vintage verb just because it was too dry. So without effects, I actually sound like this. 
than with effects. So you can see a big difference. I then needed some type of feeling, some type of vibe. So what I did is I reversed all of this right here. I reversed it all and uh, it sounded like this. So I knew that I needed um, a bouncy bass on this. So I added this bass for my soon to come one shot kit. It sounds like this. Literally nothing, just following the bass notes, uh, but it's a really bouncy thing. I then added this one shot. I use this, it sounds like, a, it's like a kind of a brass, raspy, grungy feel. It's from my boy Piso's kit. So I added these two automations. One is the volume, so it kind of comes in slowly. And then I added this low filter automation uh, and it just filters it out at the end. So it kind of has like the volume goes up, but the filter goes down. So it's not, it's kind of a cool, like it can, it goes together well. And then for effects on that, all I added was that low filter and this one EQ to take the mids out, this other EQ to take the highs out and a kickstart. I then added this perk loop, um, also for my boy Piso's kit, sounds like this. Nothing too special, honestly. Um, for the last like catchy part, I knew I needed something really catchy. So what I did is I went to the BWB kit or one of the kits and I took this drum fill, which gives it that like bounce. So for effects on that, I took the highs and lows out to make it sound more vintage. And then I added a reverb. I turned up the decay. So I wanted it to kind of fade out. And then I added the shaper box um, and I added a pan one into the other as usual for with that effect sound like this so with effects it's a lot more vintage and more grunge and just sounds a lot cooler and that's kind of what gave it that bounce bounce um honestly all together that the after effects i added sounds like this So it's really cool together and that's the after effects i added or the after stuff i added then i exported it all out and i pitched it down to one and it ended up sounding like this This is a really fire sample, perfect for Kanye, Travis, uh, likes of those type of people. Um, if you want to make, if you want to learn how to make the examples in depth from scratch and see how I do this, uh, my thought process and how to make placements, how to how to get placements, how to network, do everything to be a good producer. Go down in the description, get my new Patreon, top of the description, forty dollars, three classes a week, all sauce plus beat critiques plus any questions you guys have, uh, all on topics that you guys want with my all my kits free and free loops every single week, plus a twenty five dollar member that is just in case you guys can't spend on the $40 two classes a week also free loops every week um and a lot of lots of other benefits so uh you guys make sure to go down in the description also make sure to go like subscribe and comment to help the algorithm um and make sure to use alec21 on all kits including mine my for example i read down in the description samples like this if you want to go check that out alec21 for 10% off that's alec21 for 10% off without further ado i'm gonna catch y'all later